Hey guys. Sunday evening. The end of a beautiful, beautiful day. My guys here, my doggies, are eating their frozen custard. Gussie, he savors the moment. Bella is a lunatic. Straighten that cup up, Bella. Straighten it up. Straighten it up. There you go. She's like, I'm just going to get away here. Gussie, he lays down and eats. He's the only dog I've ever seen that lays down and eats. Uh, but he loves it. He loves some custard just like me and Bella. And, uh... Bella, there's more in there. You better get it. I think she's got a brain freeze. I think she got a brain freeze. Man, I just went out to... Tried to go to that faux restaurant and get some food, but they were closed, man. This place is like a ghost town, man, without the uh, snowbirds, man. Be careful what you wish for, people. Always bitching about them. This place would go under without the snowbirds, I can tell you that for sure. All these restaurants were closed. I drove three miles down a main road and every single restaurant was closed. I finally turned on uh, Tammy Amy Trail and there was a uh, Chinese restaurant. They, they turned it in. It used to be a Chinese buffet, the best in Sarasota, Mrs. Chen's. And uh, still under the same management, Mrs. Chen is there seven days a week. Uh, hard-working Chinese older woman but very very friendly and just a sweet lady and they can cook man so I had uh, rice noodles over a bed of lettuce with sliced carrots cucumber bean sprouts and uh, Korean beef short ribs and man let me tell you that shit was banging. Woo! So good that a couple came in. One of them interracial couples. And, uh... They seemed like they were struggling a little bit to figure they were a table behind me. And I could, you know, I was eavesdropping like Johnny does. I got to be aware of everything that's going on around me. So they seemed like they were struggling. And I turned around and I said, hey, I can suggest number 39. <laughs> and they were like, okay, we're going to go with 39. This coming from a guy who looks like Uncle Fester. Wearing pajama bottoms. I'm in my fucking pajamas. Going out to dinner, man. Johnny don't care. Johnny don't give a fuck. Jack, you only live once, man. Why conform? Why conform? That's what I say. Look at his head. Good Lord. I think I need to lose like 15 pounds. But Gussie, Gussie, how you doing? My What's up, man? He's like, I didn't love that custard. Thank you. So I went to the custard place. I get three small <laughs> custards. $18, and I think, wow, imagine what my grand, I mean, my father felt like when he went to get a fucking ice cream, and he had to buy 11 kids, and his wife one, too, but it's worth it, I love you guys, Gussie, you good boy, he's like, I'm not a good boy, I'm the best, the boy who would be king someday, come here, hey, hey, Bella, get over here. Oh, shit. Here comes craziness. My crazy neighbor. Hey. How come you never come to say hi to me? She's a wacko. Excuse me, ma'am. You can't talk to my dogs without talking to me. 
No shit. My point exactly. What do you think? I just leave my dogs out here? Here she is. How you doing? What are you doing? Just making my dogs fight? Hey, you want some custard? No, dog custard? No. Is that for the doggies? No, it's no. mine. It's delicious. What's that for the dogs? Don't worry about the spoon. I, I no, got no, over no, my... No. Come on. Why? You don't can't finish it? Come on, taste it. It's good. Buzz. Your bust? My buzz. I gotta go get Molly. Oh, you got a little Man, buzz on? Oh, That's not for the on the air, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Blow that buzz. smoke over this way. I just got my mom. My mom just lied to the mm -hmm. aide about me. Uh, really? That I'm <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're gonna turn it. This hey, guys. <clears throat> so... I don't know if this is a good look or not. That girl. Look at my nose, man. My nose looks fucked up, guys. But I really don't care. But I do look like, you know, the skin looks kind of like an Irish drunk. You know, strawberry nose. That girl comes over. She's like, hey, you got a bat in the cave. And I was like, Wow. I went to that restaurant with this booger hanging out of my fucking nose the whole time. Those people must have thought I was crazy. Get the 39, they're like, get the fuck out of my face. We're ready to leave. Ah, that's funny, man. This shit has happened more times, man. I got more fucking booger hanging out of my nose stories than you can imagine. The funniest one was when I was dealing with some guy trying to get up. Wait a minute, let's see. <laughs> Holy shit. That is wrong. Now that's some fucking goddamn content in every sense of the word. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh gosh. Johnny's a classy fucking guy. Anyways, so my favorite story was I was showing my daughter when she was young. I don't know, maybe 14. I was showing her the ropes, you know. I was teaching her how to haggle for a good price. I was gonna, I was buying an expedition down at the uh, Ford dealership, and I'm kind of trying to muscle this guy, you know, for a good price. Pay him cash. Fucking give me a good price. So after going back and forth with this guy for like a half hour, we we decide on the price. I pay the guy. I drive out with the car. My daughter says, Dad, you got a booger hanging out of your nose. I was like, the whole time? She's like, yep. I was like, what the fuck, man? Really? Then I died because I get a kick out of myself. I don't care, man. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm sorry. She, this lady, she came over. She was getting into shit I don't want to put on. You know, I do have my fucking guidelines I have to stick by. Uh, I hope you've all eaten. And I hope you didn't throw up from that little footage. I mean, once I started pulling it out of my nostril, I was like, wow, how long is this motherfucker going to get? Uh, yeah. Pretty interesting, great footage. Johnny Phillips Plumbing, at your service. Have a great night.